we needed to drop everything within uh, 30 days. Sell everything that we have, move to the UK because we needed that, that support around us. From being in the UK, I decided to start a new business, a new adventure where I started to export coffee from Honduras or import coffee into the UK. So my name is Wilmer, born and raised in Honduras, Central America. I live with my wife, my son, Maddox, uh, and my in-laws. We live in Moped, Northumberland. Building a business in the countryside has been a, a new chapter in my life. You know, our home and work spaces right behind a sheep farm. We work with this type of view. I stop for a break and go for a walk, see the alpacas. I grew in the countryside. Being so close to nature in the UK just reminds me of being back home, having so much beauty, uh, so much connection. My grandmother, she was a farmer, she farmed coffee as well. She was trying to connect, bring a little bit of Honduras into the tumble. You need to work hard. Technology is really important. 100% online business. Everything is through social media, through, you know, in front of the cameras. So we can be in the countryside, and then we have customers anywhere from London to Glasgow, and they feel like they visit in Northumberland, at least from the UK. So a year and a half after, we got married. We have our first child, born by the emergency section, by surprise, because he suffered a you know, genetic condition. And that changed our life completely. We needed to drop everything, move to the UK, because we needed that support. So one of the main reasons that we work so close to home is uh, because we need to be really close for any emergency situations. Being in the countryside gives me the flexibility to have this space, but also close to my family. We get out every Sunday if possible, find new places to visit in the countryside. So my wife loves walking, so Max loves the forest. Um, it's so much in Northumbria that actually we have not finished exploring yet. But now it's like more limited with Max because at this point we need wheelchair access mostly. Some of the places could have that accessibility. He's growing, so eventually we can imagine when he's 20 years old, you know, to get to some of the places, how accessible they are, or how close we can get to the actual place. I think there's a lot of stuff that can be improved around that, that experience, you know, for disabled people. But he enjoyed that. That's the most important part for him is to connect him with something. So being around the nature is like he can hear the birds or he can see the tree moving. And sometimes he smiles to branches, and that makes me smile because he smiles. It's the most important part when your kids are happy and then they're just themselves playing. It reminds me of my beginnings, or my roots, up to the person that I am now that is still connected to the countryside.